Today's episode of TQA Weekly is an explanation to the confusion some internet users have with HTTPS's security and VPN's privacy. <laughs> My name is Steve Smith, this is TQA Weekly, and if ever you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or PC horror stories, you can always email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. Go to my brand new website, tqaweekly.com, and either use the contact page or leave a comment on this specific episode. And of course, you can always send me a tweet at at Z-E-D-A-X-I-S. And if you're watching on one of the many websites I post to every single week, you can always drop a message down below. Now, this Episode of TQA Weekly is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymously and without oversight. For 20% off your brand new account, go to ProXPN.com slash podcast and use the coupon code TQAWEE, all caps, and that helps out the show a lot. So today's episode is all about getting, you know, our minds around the idea that HTTPS is just secure. It's not, in fact, private. And I'm going to explain this in a way that will actually enlighten you a little bit about the topic and maybe help you make a better choice about how you connect to the internet and knowing all the various things that can happen with your data. So first, when it comes to privacy, who do you think is recording the most data on you? Governments? NSA? Nope. Your ISP. They know all the weird kinky porn that you're looking at, all of the different websites you communicate with, every single peer that you actually chat with, and all of your transactions that you do to a whole bunch of places by recording the metadata. Now, there is no particular difference between an HTTP packet and an HTTPS packet and any other packet going through your network. This is because irregardless of what that packet's, packet's payload is, whether it's encrypted or not, the metadata is never encrypted. In fact, if it was encrypted, it could never get to you and therefore you would never actually experience the data that you were in fact requesting. In fact, packets are sent both ways. So just the fact of you receiving meant that you sent a packet that actually asked for this specific stuff. So what kinds of information can be contained in these kinds of packets? Origin, destination, type of content, how it was created, and what it may contain, and a whole bunch of other stuff that it might actually be specifically useful. What can be done with this metadata that's being collected? Well, that's actually kind of easy and scary simultaneously. So without knowing what's actually inside each of these packets and without actually caring about it, you can technically see where the persons hang out over the internet, who they chat with, how to communicate with various different networks, who they're actually interacting with on websites at any given time because you can actually start collecting trends of different sets of people on different sets of networks simultaneously, actually building up a picture that is fairly accurate to say that you basically do this on the internet. So because of the metadata's actual importance and the fact that it actually does reveal more about you than the actual content of the connection, just because you're connected by HTTPS does not in fact mean that you are experiencing privacy. What HTTPS does help with is prevent normal malicious users from trying to hijack your connection and replacing content over on the pages themselves. However, they can still scan the packets and see where these packets are supposed to go, but they can't hijack your sessions. Now, there are gonna be some people that are gonna be asking is there a way to have, to avoid having your metadata recorded by the NSA, governments, ISPs, and whatever? And the answer is strictly no. No metadata, no connection. Impossible to do. What you actually should be asking is, is there a way to fool all these systems into thinking you're not requesting that information? And that answer is probably yes because it also depends on how many people are using the services. The more popular the VPN in this case, the more users are using it, the more likely you're gonna disappear in the crowd and the harder it will be to prove that you are the one connecting to that VPN requesting that specific service because most VPNs don't indefinitely keep any logs. Therefore, 
you basically disappear into the crowd and you become almost anonymous. So basically, you become more private passing through a VPN. And the reason this is possible is because when you connect to a VPN, it's the VPN requesting the data over the internet on your behalf and it encrypts into the payload of the packets coming from the P VPN to your computer and your computer decrypts the VPN's packets content, basically payload, and inside that payload is the packet that you requested from the VPN, allowing you to actually communicate with all the other servers virtually, privately, and securely in a way that would be harder to detect. Therefore, you can go and see those other Netflix places. You can go and see all those weird kinky porn. You can torrent all to your heart's delight. And you can do all the other stuff that you would normally be used to doing, but more securely and in fact, more privately. And the really cool thing is, is if you were to connect over HTTPS inside the VPN tunnel, that's even more secure in that case. But remember, the only way to stay private is by literally making these other servers believe that you are no longer where you are, that you're actually somewhere else. Your ISP will still record packets, they will still record metadata, but they will only be recording metadata stating that you are connected to a VPN in a different place, and it won't necessarily be able to see anything about the packets because the packets that you're receiving are actually encoded in the payload of the packets they're seeing, and they can't read that, that's encrypted. So that's how you actually become more secure on the internet. HTTPS is secure. VPN, as long as it's encrypted, adds more privacy. The combination of both makes you both more secure and more private over the internet. Otherwise, you're just a sitting duck being detected and being spied on. And now a word from our sponsors, ProXPN, now more than ever, your online freedom and privacy are under threat governments and ISPs want to control what you can or cannot see while keeping a detailed record of everything you do, plus that free Wi-Fi at the coffee house or airport terminal is putting you at risk. Because your passwords and sensitive data can be intercepted more easily than you might think, ProXPN is a virtual private network, a global virtual private network that works with almost any internet connection, creates a secure encrypted tunnel through which all your online data passes back and forth. Any online application can work with ProXPN, including your web browser, email file sharing, and instant messaging programs. ProXPN keeps everything you do online hidden from prying eyes, disguising your physical location, giving you unfeathered access to any website or online service, no matter where you live or travel to. Offers complete online privacy with 2048-bit encryption, 512-bit encryption tunnel, works with OpenVPN or PPTP, protect yourself against your ISP six strikes rule. That is for everybody watching me from the United States. Trust me, you want this. Bypasses internet filtering and blocked websites, geographical restrictions for internet content and online video with worldwide servers available in the US, UK, Asia, and more, which is perfect for us Canadian folk that want the American Netflix because the Canadian Netflix actually sucks. So, and ProXPN software for Windows and Mac offers advanced controls, allowing you to select the programs and ports you want to anonymously root through ProXPN servers. ProXPN also offers your iOS or Android device Works also with your iOS and Android device, allowing you to use your data or public corporate Wi-Fi with complete total privacy on the go with no app required, even though there are now apps for iOS and Android as well, and they have 24-7 customer support. And all you need to do is to go to proxpn.com slash podcast for more information and to sign up. And yes, I know there is a free version of ProXPN available for all of you, but let's say that you want to download torrents or actually be more secure on the internet and do whatever you want and have no bandwidth throttling or anything like that. TQA weekly watchers and listeners also get a free 30-day risk-free trial. Remember to visit proxpn.com slash podcast and sign up with the coupon code TQAWEE, all caps. ProXPN premium accounts are normally $9.95 a month or $74.95 for the entire year. We've got a special offer for you just because you listen to my show. Use the coupon code TQAWEE all caps, and get 20% off the lifetime of your account. So you get to do anything you want on the internet. Now, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and have a great day. And don't forget to visit the brand new, still in beta website of tqaweekly.com. If you have any suggestions for it, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or use the contact form. Have a great day and goodbye.